I sort of start with the head, always start with the head. And that sort of, believe it or not, tells me what to do. I'll sort of get a piece of clay, which I, like I said, could have done today. And I start with the head. I usually know what gender or what the theme is, but I don't know what, I haven't got a clue what it's going to look like. Mm. I say on things I write that I listen with my fingers. Mm. And then just, and then just stand, stand here to really get lost. Yeah. Can you talk me through a little bit about how it works, how mm -hmm. you get the idea or the inspiration and um, what generally sparks the inception of one of the pieces, yeah. Often it's topical, like it was like for the portage. You're certainly in influenced by people you meet or family and usually it's always people who you admire, um, who do, I think, extraordinary things, but being very ordinary. I love the fact that you can actually maybe elevate the goodness of what people do. That's often a driving force. And kids always. I just love love doing children because you sort of feel they are they are a future. Yeah, they are our future and you feel and they're untainted. So you sort of can get hopefully the essence of what the very best mankind can be. Yeah. It's quite um, amazing how you're able to bring that out in the figurines, the way they face the wall. I feel I'm just an observer. Yeah. So it's all about their yeah. journey. And I find it's more mysterious. Uh, I yeah, I prefer that than having someone's face mm. yeah, right there. Yeah. yeah. Um, can you tell me about the portage of what you did for um, last year's New Zealand Portage Awards? Mm -hmm. um, that work I started it was really based on the massacre that was at Christchurch on the 15th of March and it, it so um, impacted on me mm -hmm. and on the 16th of March I thought okay the only way for me to get my feelings out was to make a figure. So I started on one, one figure and as I went through, decided I would make a suite of figures to sort of represent, A, to acknowledge the people who had died, but more so to acknowledge um, the sense of unity that happened, mm -hmm. and also to acknowledge that we are all the same. So what's next for you? Um, I'm thinking of doing maybe a work, something about protection. I'm sort of thinking maybe a suite of figures that might have wear cloaks mm -hmm. or something like that. Just something, and I feel the world needs all the, all the softness and the help that it mm. can get right now. Mm. So that's sort of where my mm. thoughts are. Mm. Mm. The world wrapped in a blanket. Yes, mm. yes. It needs healing.